My name is Taha. I'm a junior at Apple High. And uh, I'm also the chapter officer for my BPA chapter at school. I'm also a straight A student. Outside of school, I like to travel. I like to spend time with friends and family. I like to watch sports, anything that a normal teenage guy likes to do. But above all these things, I'm a Muslim in your local community who volunteers for, donates to, and helps those in need. We all, most teenagers know volunteering as a part of their college application or something that they just do to get it done with. But I wanted, today I want to discuss why volunteering is much more, why it's an integral part of our religion. Our prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that whoever brings comfort to his brothers, God or Allah will bring comfort to him. And whoever brings discomfort to his brothers, Allah will bring discomfort to him. So I use this quote as my motivation to go out and help and volunteer other people. And this is, I, I believe that all Muslims who volunteer use this quote as well as motivation. So first off, um, back in the day during the Prophet's time, that he always encouraged his friends, his companions, his, his brothers in Islam to, to help, to feed the poor, to go visit the sick, to help children, whoever was in need. And that still stands true today because when we volunteer, we, we help the poor, we, we, we feed the poor, we visit the sick at a nursing home, you can even tutor somebody. In Islam, we believe that charity is something as simple as giving somebody a smile. So that, what, what they did back in the day still stands true today. And these, these things that you do for other people in your community will in turn make them better people and um, invoke a sense of um, motivation in them, you can say, to help others. And as a result, these people will become better people and a, com a community with better people is a better community in itself. That's why I believe we should volunteer. However, these are only external benefits. There are internal benefits to volunteering as well. The yeah, internal benefits are things such as you you feel more sincere to yourself. You know, I felt this firsthand when I, when I volunteered. Uh, for example, a couple of, I think a year, year and a half ago, I went to help out foster children. And we donated toys to them and stuff. And just seeing smiles on those kids' faces when you give them toys or whatever it may be, no matter how small, you, you, you get a warm feeling inside you. And I think, I think everybody deserves that. And if it comes from volunteering, why not? Uh, another benefit is that you feel more grateful for the things you have. You know, we, we live in this country. I, I, I'd say this is the best country in the world to live in. And um, I'm, I'm originally from India. And every summer when I go to India, you see poverty-stricken neighborhoods. You see poor people who are struggling to eat. And as a result, you, you know, you feel that you should, you should do what you can to help these people, whether it be in India or the USA or wherever you are. So as a result, you feel, you feel more gratitude and we, I, I personally believe we should all thank God for what we have, no matter what faith or walk of life you're from. What else? Um, and uh, I, I've seen my friends that I volunteer with, they've become more grateful for the things they have as well. You know, um, they, 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 they thank God. They, 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 my friend once told me that, you know, I felt, I felt good doing that. And I feel that's, that's the bottom line, that, that if you feel good about yourself and volunteering, why not? And if it's part of your religion, that just gives you a more, more um, benefit of doing, doing that. So I want to share a story about uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His, his, one time his friend asked, his companion asked him, um, is there any benefit to volunteering, you know, if you're not getting compensated for it? And he said, he said, um, he said, okay, he said, who, who amongst you is fasting today? So only one friend said I am. He said, he said, who amongst you is, who amongst you followed a funeral procession today? He said, I, the same, so the same man who was fasting said I did. He said, who amongst you visited the sick today? He said, the same man who was fasting said I did. He said, who amongst you served food to the needy today? The same man who was fasting said I did. And then he asked him, he said, he said, um, However, does these good deeds combined will and certainly enter paradise. And that means that if, if you're not getting compensated in this world, you'll eventually get compensated in the next world after you're gone. And that's, that's another benefit that volunteering has on our religion. And then along with volunteering in Islam, we greatly encourage charity or donation in the form of money. Um, every, every year during our holy month of Ramadan, which is the month of fasting, we, we donate 2.5% of our savings 
to the to the poor to so they can do whatever with it but as we're giving we're giving that as long as it's within our means and uh I, I, f I firmly believe that this is all this is this is this this charity is so important it's one of the five main pillars of our religion and I believe that it's it's such an important part that you can't you can't overlook it and volunteering and charity go hand in hand so that's why you have to give enough attention to both of them and once again our prophet encouraged this part of the religion also so I I I know there's a lot of talk about Muslims in the media today but I want you to know that Islam is a religion all about helping people, not hurting people. And we, we greatly encourage volunteering, charity, all the above. So I hope my talk and the talks after mine greatly change your views about Islam. Thank you.